We'll speak with co-founder of Agilis, Thomas Droxas. Hello, Thomas. Hi, nice to meet you. What would you say about Agilis ICO? How's it going? Um, yeah, so with the team, we are really excited. Uh, and uh, well, so far, uh, we consider that it's one of the most uh, successful gambling ICOs in the Ethereum community. Um, and right now we have uh, you know, sufficient funds to develop uh, like a decent amount of games. Uh, and uh, yeah, in general, the team, team is really happy uh, with the success which we uh, had during an ICO. To understand things better, let's talk more precisely about the Ageless project itself. What's the main idea of the creation of Ageless Casino? I mean, what is that makes your project unique? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so just to break it down, um, well, probably I would use uh, just like a simple reference. You know, every business is solving some kind of a problem. Uh, and uh, in this particular case, uh, you know, we, we took a problem from the gambling industry uh, and the main problem is that uh, like a lot of centralized casinos, um, uh, for example, like a Betfair or, or any other uh, which is using fiat money as a currency, uh, they have full power to cheat uh, against their own players. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and that's kind of a big deal for the casino industry uh, because uh, there are like a lot of casinos, uh, well, this amount of proportion of casinos, uh, which are actively cheating, cheating against uh, own players. They're uh, you know changing the uh, with a couple of tweaks in the programming code. They change the uh, like you know the house edges. They delay payments and do like you know some some shady and really cheeky stuff. Um, and then the worst part about this problem is that, uh, you know, it kind of damages all industry uh, because right now, uh, you know, uh, people, they will never know whether the casino is cheating against them or not. Uh, and they will start questioning, you know, every casino uh, and they kind of lose trust in, uh, you know, in the, in, the industry, in the industry. And over the long run, uh, you know, people might uh, drift away uh, because cheating problem is not solved. Um, so, so yeah, so the blockchain, um, you know, as a technology as such, it, uh, it solves a transparency problem uh, in a lot of industries. And then we thought, you know, why not solving the transparency in the casino industry and making, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, the, the gambling products way much better. Um, yeah, and that's, you know, the, that's the idea we had. Uh, and then, you know, uh, six months ago, we launched Ethereum slot and it was like absolutely transparent slot machine. And even if we want to cheat, uh, we, you know, we can do that without being spotted on the blockchain. Uh, and then we realized, uh, you know, that's like a really, uh, really strong product. Uh, and, you know, we need to move further. So that would be, uh, you know, like a brief introduction. We've noticed that your project receives a huge support from Ethereum community. Why Ethereum is supporting your casino so much? Um, yeah, well, of course, uh, because, you know, we kind of use Ethereum solutions and Ethereum smart contracts uh, to solve uh, this transparency problem. Uh, so that's one thing. Um, and another thing is, uh, well, in some sense, we are uh, repeating the history of Bitcoin. Uh, because, you know, back in 2009, 2010, uh, there was a, a, like a, you know, uh, like a bit when Bitcoin, like early days of Bitcoin, it was purely, you know, used by black markets. And, um, and 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 casinos um, and there was like a really famous uh, case of a satoshi dice and there were a couple of years when satoshi had satoshi dice had more than 50% uh, of all bitcoin transactions um, so you know you, you can imagine a casino having a, you know more than 50% of all infrastructure transactions and that was like extremely big deal for bitcoin uh, and uh, because of that casino, uh, you know, Bitcoin attracted a lot of attention because people, you know, who, who love to gamble, they eventually, you know, uh, looking for, for uh, new products in the gambling arena and they found like a Satoshi Dice. And then they, you know, from uh, like a fiat world, they changed to cryptocurrency world. So in general, you know, um, like casino businesses for the blockchains, uh, they, uh, they attract a lot of people uh, from outside the blockchain. Uh, and uh, yeah, and as I mentioned before, we are trying to repeat the history of Ethereum. Uh, so we are trying to be the first uh, really, you know, playable Ethereum casino. Uh, and the Ethereum community knows if we are going to succeed. So that will attract a lot of people outside Ethereum, uh, you know, to Ethereum blockchain. And uh, right now that's why, you know, Ethereum, is, uh, Ethereum community is so hyped about uh, Ageless. What is your target market? Um, yeah, so right now in, in two, 2017, um, we'll focus like a lot on development and we want to establish, uh, uh, we want to create like a decent amount of uh, properly functioning games. And uh, this year we are going to target mainly uh, like a crypto gambling uh, communities. Uh, however, in 2018, uh, we will change our focus uh, and we'll start focusing uh, like a lot uh, on people who are gambling on, uh, on dollar or on euro. 
and then we'll try to attract uh, like like you know masses uh, from these type of casinos to uh, to our like Angeles Casino. Let's go back to the ICO. What is the next step in the development of Agilus? Um Yeah, so we have like a really good news uh, that today we are launching a black uh, blackjack uh, beta version, uh, and that's uh, you know that's uh, uh, that's a blackjack which is directly connected to the blockchain, uh, and that means uh, you know it's a fully fully transparent blackjack. And and the best part is that right now it's the fastest running gambling application on Ethereum. Um, and uh, yeah, and I'm really, really excited because after this interview, we are going to meet with the team and then we'll, uh, you know, officially do an announcement. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, so to, today we are launching the black check, then uh, upcoming month, uh, you know, uh, we are uh, finishing our legal stuff. Uh, then we are improving the black check and then we move uh, to further games and further games are going to be uh, like a, what's called like a Russian poker. Then we'll develop like a dice. Uh, uh, and then uh, we also uh, develop uh, like a platform for sports betting. Uh, and then in 2018, we plan to develop like a platform for developers uh, where they can take our transparency solution or theorem solution and apply the solution to their own casinos. So that would be like a, like a roadmap. From what we can tell, the main goal of your project is the creation of global gambling platform Grand Region. Is it right? Yeah, so right now we would use you know, the resources and uh, we are trying to put the industry, the gambling industry, out of the shadow, uh, you know, uh, out of these uh, shady, shady transparency mechanisms. We are trying to put the gambling industry on the blockchain so it could, it could become, like, you know, like a fully, fully transparent industry. And, you know, people would start losing the, you know, these uh, social stigmas around gambling and then people would start focusing on better and, and you know, and more responsible and, and more transparent uh, gambling products. Um, and, and that's what you know we are aiming to. We, we are aiming to change uh, you know the industry, uh, put it on the blockchain, so it will be transparent. And then you know we could we could uh, you know all the industry and all people uh, could start developing like way much better and high you know higher quality gambling products. You are the professional gambler and poker player. Is your poker experience as an intellectual gamer helps you in the creation of blockchain-based projects? Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, uh, yeah, so so when it comes to poker, um, so uh, yeah, the, the poker like the professional poker uh, on Poker Stars, it was like really raising in 2000, uh, like nine, uh, ten, eleven, uh, and at that time I decided, you know, uh, okay, maybe I should try my, you know, uh, apply my skills of math in in, in poker, and then uh, I was doing, you know, I was earning for a living playing uh, Poker Stars. It was really, <laughs> really cool thing because you know it's like you open laptop, you you apply the math, uh, and then you you know you can live out of that. So definitely, this kind of experience, uh, you know, taught me a lot about uh, you know how casinos are functioning, uh, how game, or like what is the game theory, uh, you know, how math is functioning, was bankroll management, and all all that kind of stuff. Uh, and and definitely, this kind of experience right now, uh, I'm applying uh, to Edgeless Project. Uh, for bankroll management, you know, for uh, for positioning of the casino, uh, for game concepts uh, and many more. So yeah, so that was like a really strong input uh, from uh, from my gambling experience. What kind of future do you see for gambling, poker, and sports betting within the blockchain ecosystem? Um, yeah, so uh, so far we believe that the blockchain is uh, you know it's it's extremely good when it comes to you know putting the industry out of the shadow, making it more transparent. And then we believe that in the upcoming five years, uh, you know, pretty much uh, all casinos uh, will have to be on the blockchain. Otherwise, they would not be uh, able to compete uh, and provide this transparency uh, what people need. Thank you, Thomas. We wish good luck to you and your project. Yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, yeah, so definitely, uh, if you have any more questions uh, or you you know you want to do another interview, just feel free to shoot me a message, and then uh, you know uh, we can discuss the further development plans for the casino. So thank you very much for the interview.